All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again with the view. We already know that they anti-Trump. They always talking about Donald Trump. They can't keep Donald Trump's name out their mouth. All they do is sit on this show and slander Donald Trump day in and day out. We already know how we all feel about Whoopi. We feel like she should have just stayed acting instead of trying to host a show where she just treat everybody like garbage basically if you ain't if you somebody that supports donald trump everybody on the show has a problem with you they literally let this woman get away with everything but now we come to this one by doug he said that sunny hosting is finished the um uh, the uh view producer charges her with treason uh-oh, it seems like Sunny Holston has been fired. She is finished. We definitely need to check this out so we can see exactly what happened. Like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section. I also want to thank everybody who clicked on the video for the very first time. I appreciate all of you. Like I said before, all these people do is just sit on this show and just talk crap about everybody it, it, the point about it is we know they don't like donald trump so they trying to they, they literally go after everybody that even supports donald trump so how can they sit on this show and, and never question joe biden at all never question him but always got something to say about donald trump and donald trump is constantly winning so that right there is what pissed him off so without further ado y'all Let's go ahead and dive straight into this. Make sure y'all hit that like button so more people can see the view make a fool of themselves like they always do. So let's see exactly what happened. Remember Sonny Hostin from The View? How can you forget that dangling? I, I hope people are studying yeah. Hillary Clinton because what was surprising to me was that so many women voted against their best interests in voting for Trump and not Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Her hair's all up like a poodle. She got busted by her own producer on The View for wow. visiting another show. I didn't think I was... Uh... My family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a fireable offense. You know, it certainly proves that she's a traitor. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is where the happy patriots are. This is where you want to be all the way to November. This year, when Trump is our president again, we're only bringing you good news yep. and happy things and fun things. And part of what's happy is when Sonny Hostin gets reprimanded and busted by her own show. The View producer got angry at Sarah Haynes and Sonny Hostin for attending Wendy Williams' talk show. Wendy Ooh. Williams. And by the way, Sarah Haynes got busted too. I didn't even mention her because she's the invisible woman. <laughs> this is on Entertainment Weekly, by the way. This is a big kind of Hollywood rag. The View producer, Brian Teta, did not take a little time to enjoy the view of mm. his on-air personalities sitting front row during the broadcast of the Wendy Williams show. How dare she? This is treason. <laughs> wow. Teta and current View co-host Sarah Heens discussed the incident on Thursday's episode of Behind the Table podcast after the latter expressed that she's heartbroken over developments concerning Wendy Williams' recent diagnosis with aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. Okay, that's very serious. Our it prayers is. go out to Wendy Williams. I wanted to go see Wendy, Sonny Hostin and I, Haynes told Teta, reflecting on her early tenure as a permanent panelist on The View years prior to Williams stepping down from her beloved talk show in 2021. Quote, we tried to get tickets through all of our hair and makeup people. Brian was like, you could ask for tickets. Like, we could probably arrange with the show, unquote. We got tickets, and they were going to put us in the front row. Oh, yeah, you don't want another show's hosts on the front row of your show. It looks bad. Haynes went on to praise Williams' interview style and said she, quote, wanted to witness that, unquote, in person. We were taking pictures from the front row, and you're like, you literally are on camera in front row of another show, Haynes recalled. And Teta confirmed his disappointment. Mm. He mad. I'm very upset with you girls. Joe this Lewis. might be the first time Teta has ever 
been upset in his life. Probably the last time was when he watched Schindler's List, the last time he was this upset. Yeah, I was not happy about it at the time because I thought it was early in the time you worked with here and you and Sonny got to go hang out and just be in the audience of another talk show. He said, guys, this is not what happens. You don't look into our audience and see Oprah hanging out in our second row. He shrieked, Tetra said, throwing a stapler at their head as they barely ducked it. And luckily it saved safely hit an intern in the face behind them. So they're all, Whew. at least they didn't hit the talent's face. Wow. Though she appeared to eventually understand Teta's position, Payne said that she and Hostin weren't happy with Teta over his reaction either. Oh boy, uh -oh. this is going to be some real trouble in their commissary over caviar and gluten-free yogurt. Quote, we could not understand why, Haynes recalled. This is my Sarah Haynes impression. Quote, we were so mad at you. We were like, why is he not celebrating <laughs> with us? We're so excited, unquote. That is so Sarah Haynes. Seriously, watch the view and you'll see I just nailed her. Teta's conversation with Haynes came out hours after the view welcomed Williams's niece, Alex, Alex Finney, Finney, to the table to reflect on her aunt's life as depicted in the new Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? I think we're all saying that title out loud, Where is Wendy Williams? Which chronicles the mysterious circumstances surrounding Wendy's highly publicized retreat from the spotlight amid personal and health struggles that ultimately led to former View panelist Sherry Shepard inheriting the Wendy Williams show time slot. Oh my word. Now, if you'll excuse uh -oh. me, my brain needs to go take a shower. You <laughs> Maybe work out a little. Maybe have some meat. I'm a carnivore. Wow. So it looked like uh, the producer was pissed off at Sonny Hostin for going on another show. You know why that, that producer was mad? Because he wants you to sit there on The View and just slander Donald Trump day in and day out. He don't want you on another show. And just like he said, Sonny Hostin is finished. Talking about she was mad. She don't like the way that he was talking to her and, and stuff like that. Look, they deserve everything they get for sitting on that show. And that's, that's the thing that uh, I don't get right there. How come they never have anything bad to say about Joe Biden? Why are they ain't never talking about the open borders, all the illegal immigrants uh, coming in? prices when prices was raised up high why they never talk about joe biden they never say anything but every single day they got something to say about donald trump and now your own boss don't even want you going nowhere don't want you visiting no more shows he wants you sit he wants you to sit there on that show and slander donald trump the way that you've been doing that's exactly what he wants you to do so this right here just looked bad. This just made Sonny Hostin look bad because remember y'all, remember she went on this show just to tell everybody that she didn't know that her family was slaveholders. And that right there made everybody look at her a lot different. Y'all already know we was already going off on Sonny Hostin because of the way she talked on that show along with Whoopi and Joy Bayard, the way they just slandered Trump and all of that. And we all sitting like, why is Sonny Hostin running her mouth and her family was slaveholders? Like, come on. Come on now. Like, you kind of being a hypocrite. You're trying to talk about Donald Trump and say he this and say he that. But you said you're gonna go up on a show and say that your family was slaveholders. Maybe that's what the producers mad at. That she went on that show and said her family owned slaves. Maybe that's what it could be. Who knows? But hey, like I said, karma always come back to bite you. So you deserve everything you get. For sitting there trying to slander Donald Trump. And by the way, Trump just won again. Just beat Nikki Haley. I don't know why Nikki Haley would just won't go ahead and drop out. But like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.